This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And today, the video that we're going to do a reaction to is about this woman right here. She's looking for a new man. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, what's your name, baby? Tonya. What's your name? Tonya. Tonya, how old are you, Tonya? I just turned 25. Okay, and what you do for yeah, a living? Let me get a can too. I um I work at a psychiatric hospital. I'll give it right back to you, okay? You work at a psychiatric hospital. Okay. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two. A five-year-old and a two-year-old. A one-year-old and a two-year-old? A five-year-old and a two-year-old. Are they both by the same man? No. Why are you not with either of your baby daddies? My daughter's dad passed, and I thought maybe potentially that would work one day, but now that's not even the, um, that can't happen. And then my son's dad, he just immature. Okay. Uh, so Off rip, man. This right here is crazy. She's 25 with two kids, two baby fathers. Who wants to be baby daddy number three? Look, here's the reality, man. If a woman is this age, and she got a two-year-old, and she's back in the streets. It is what it is, man. Shorty is prone to making bad decisions. Now she's on her way to being a certified hoe once she finds another man to have a child with. Three kids, three baby fathers, baby, you're certified. But this right here is crazy. Sorry about your child's father that passed away. The, I know you're at work, girl. That TV's loud. Oh, is it? Okay. Tonya, 25, mom of two kids, works at a psychiatric hospital. What city are you calling us from? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. And you've never been married, right? No. Okay. All right. So, Tonya, 25, Cleveland, Ohio. What's your zodiac sign? Virgo. Virgo. Um, two kids, a five... She's be a five-year-old and two-year-old, works at a psychiatric hospital. All right, baby girl, what kind of, by two men, what kind of man are you looking for now? <laughs> Not that little extra by two men, but um, I guess just someone that's okay with kids. Uh, I want to be intentional with what I say, so um, hold on, give me a second. Someone that's good with kids, someone who is a leader, someone who is fun. I don't like like a man that don't want to like do nothing, cause I've done that. That's boring. Um, someone with goals, so like, you know, I'm gonna have to be a part of them goals, like marriage, moving in, there. um, motivated. I want him to continue to want more. I don't want him complacent and um kind no temper i don't want nobody with a temper um yeah that's pretty much it all right so i'll make sure your, your wi-fi was blurry a little bit oh i'm sorry you can <laughs> okay look at right now it's good let's see if we can work with it what okay. are your deal breaker um um a narcissist a control freak like i had someone tell me like if you go on that vacation we're breaking up if you go on that trip when you get back you're gonna be single like i don't, don't want to love you like that so yeah bro you can't save these birds bro this shit got two kids by two different men and she still want to be out here doing bird shit and this is why I tell you all dudes, bro, if a chick is a bird at five, she's going to be a bird at 50, fam. That energy never leaves a woman. She just said that she had a man who was boring. He didn't want to do nothing. That's not going to work for her. This is a straight fun girl. 
She's not even taking life serious. Look at her. She's laughing. <laughs> this is a woman with two kids, two baby fathers. But here's the thing. Reality haven't hit her yet because she's 25. Usually women like her wake up when they reach the age of 29, 30. And at that point, she might have like three kids by three different men. And she's going to be out here looking for some sucker to marry her. But right now, at 25 with two kids by two different men, she's still trying to go on girl strips. This is crazy, man. Uh, just a control freak and a narcissist. I don't like those type of people. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Tall, dark, dark handsome. Preferably. Because okay. I'm pretty okay. tall. You're tall? How tall are you? I'm 5'9". Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So you want tall, dark, and handsome? Yes. Okay. Y'all light skin scare me. I don't know if y'all under the sh in the closet or, you know, I, I don't want to even well, this play around with the light skin. Uh, we just had a, a light skin tall guy on our show, Fresh. Oh, yeah. He was just saying a whole lot of nothing. It was like word bombing. It was like, what are you talking about? No, what did he, he say? Talking about. I mean, he doesn't want a woman with children, but what did he say that you didn't like? You talking about the guy before me? Yeah. In Chicago? Yes. Oh, he's just talking way too much about nothing. Like, it was like giving he wanted to sound smart or he wanted to sound like he had it all figured out. But it was like, what are you fucking saying? What are you talking about? <laughs> Last question is, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Uh, uh, I don't think, I don't know if she'll be lucky. I don't believe in luck, but not to be, not to, I think I'm just a good person to be around. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a protector. Uh, I'm a financially stable guy. I, I'm a, I'm a vulnerable person. I'm very transparent. Um, at this point, any woman that comes into my life is basically hit the, hit the jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> She's good. Any woman she that did. comes to your life is hitting the jackpot. Fuck the jack. She hit the fucking jackpot, and like she is good to fucking go. But excuse my language, but but with that jackpot comes like, hey, just I need a woman to be an asset to me and not a liability and expense. So most women that come into my life are liabilities and expenses. So which I don't have a problem with because I don't I don't care about liability and expenses, but. At the same time, it's like, hey, you know you're a liability in your expense, which I'm cool with. But just recognize that and let's flow and let's get to the point where you're an asset. And that's how I look at my life. I didn't even think I was going to come on here today. Yeah, I got my Make America great. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, I can sit here and be political with y'all and break y'all down and just be like, hey. But I don't because I, I don't already. You know what I'm saying? I understood him very well, though. He was looking for a woman that he could start having. Yeah, a but then it just got to like, oh, is this therapy for you? Like, you saying a lot of nothing. I just was like, next person, can't you click the next person? <laughs> bro, you can't save these birds, bro. This man just said he's looking for a woman who's going to come into his life and be an asset. He's not trying to deal with liability. However, he's willing to work with you. He's saying, if you're a liability, you can come into his life and apply yourself and work your way into being an asset. But you can't say that to a bird because a bird don't understand that type of shit. She's like, what the fuck is you talking about? What? That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this is a woman with... Two kids by two different men and listen to how she's sounding. She haven't got the picture yet. She's still lost in the source. This is crazy. Oh, child, well, I did ask you about him. Let me keep But he going. did look I... good for his age. He looked good. I, when you said his age, I was like, oh, I thought he was like my age. Okay. Um, well, let's keep going. Some people agree with you. I think I respectfully disagree, but we're not here to debate that part. Um, all right, back to you. Should the guy make a certain amount of money? Um, at least 60, 60 a year. Okay. Could he have kids already? 
Yeah, I like kids. I'm, I'm cool okay. with the kitties. As long as your baby mama is noticed, you know, what it is and what it ain't. We good. Do you want more kids? <laughs> yeah. I want a little football field to them, little babies. Yes, I like, I love babies. I like, yeah, I, I came from a big family, so y'all probably in the comments. Y'all like, girl, you already got two with no baby daddies, but cool. Okay, it's cool. <laughs> this is crazy, man. She like babies. She think it's fun to make babies. She think it's fun to bring kids into a dysfunctional situation. No type of stability. It's just sad, bro. It's really sad. Like, when a woman don't have any type of direction, when she's just out here having fun, um, not really self, not really self developing herself, not adding any type of intellectual capital to her brain, not adding any type of value to herself, this is how she sounds. She think it's okay to just lay down Oh, I think this man is attractive. Come in me, baby. I want to have your baby. By the time the baby gets here, he's gone. And then she's back looking for another baby father. It's just sad. And the situation repeats. She probably trying to have five kids by five different men. Before she reached the age of 30. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, okay. Let's do the Kendra about, cam. Let's do the cam. I definitely want to know. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. I don't know if this is. What are you looking at? Now, best believe somebody at her job is fucking her. Best believe somebody at her job be smashing her from time to time. This is the type of chick she is. All right? Understand that. You was a hater. I'm in, I'm in, I work with a whole bunch of haters. I can't even act. Here, come here, Jacari. Come hold this phone for me real quick. Why nobody looking? A whole, a whole bunch of haters. One. Use it enough for all. I'm at work, y'all, so remember, I look a little bummy. Can you see? Can you see me? Yo. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we're going to see your legs. Oh, my, my legs, they thick. Get the legs. Yo, I'll play with you. Straight bop. <laughs> the dude who is holding the camera, I know he be cracking, bro. Shorty's mad easy. She's just loose. This is the type of chick who thinks everything is funny. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> okay. Thank right. you. I feel like you're in good shape. Huh? I feel like you're in good shape. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. What was your last relationship? My last relationship was with my dad, uh, baby dad, which was like two years ago. But yeah, that's the one that yeah. passed away. No, that that's my son's dad. The daughter is how old? She's five. Okay, that's the one you were thought you were gonna be with, but he passed away. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Like two months. Maybe like a month and a half, month close to two half. months. Okay, month and a half, two months. Okay, um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, I would like read you the filth, make you want to cry, and like reevaluate your whole life if you like pissing off. I gotta work on that. Like I will come for you in the worst ways. So uh, yeah, I gotta work on that. Like not throwing certain things in people's face. Um. I will get very silent and quiet if I feel like I'm not being heard. I will just shut the fuck off. You'll be like, good morning, Tonya. And I'll just look at you. And I won't say a goddamn thing because it's like, yeah, I don't. All right, we're going to stop this right here, man. Fellas, pay attention to this, bro. Because this is a young bird who's not going to get the point 
until she's like 30. Until she's probably on her fifth kid and a fifth baby father. You don't want to deal with a woman like this, bro. This is what you call a fun girl. Don't even bring it to the crib. This is a straight backseat back shuts and kick her out. This is a low hanging fruit, bro. All it takes to smash a chick like this is a smoke session. Yo, you trying to smoke? She's going to be down. And that's all it takes. Easy pickings, bro. But it's sad because this is just a woman who's lost. She just don't know better. And here's the sad part, bro. A sucker will come into her life and try to change her and try to tell her, yo, baby, you need to do this. You need to work on this. You need to get better at this. And then she's going to say, you're controlling. She's going to say, oh, he's annoying. I can't stand him. She is trying to have fun. She want to do to come into her life. Yo, let's go have some fun. Let's turn up, man. That's the type of energy she's on, fellas. And you can't do nothing with a woman like that, bro. This right here is sad. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm out.